man arrested after high-speed chase, farms being impacted by pandemic, lane closures next week on North 14th Street in Sheboygan. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, April 9th, 2020. One of the Sheboygan's business busiest streets will undergo utility work next week, likely causing slowdowns, especially during peak travel times. City engineer Ryan Sazama announced that North 14th Street will be restricted to one lane traffic in each direction between Niagara and Wisconsin Avenues. That's just south of 14th Street Bridge. The restrictions will last the duration of the utility work starting Monday, April 13th, weather permitting. The utility work should be done by the end of the business day on Friday the 17th. Sazama is asking for patience and cooperation and reminds drivers to slow down in construction zones during the project. A man is in custody after a high-speed chase in the town of Sheboygan on Wednesday night. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department says they tried to stop a vehicle on Mueller Road shortly before midnight but the driver would not stop, leading the deputies on a chase that reached speeds of 90 miles per hour. After spike trips were deployed, the man's car finally stopped on Superior Avenue, but he refused to get out of the car. After responding officers broke the window of his car to get him out, he assaulted the officers before being placed in handcuffs. The man is now facing his fourth OWR OWI charges along with felonies for assaulting the officers and resisting arrest. As if low commodity prices, bad weather, and global market uncertainties weren't enough, Wisconsin's farmers are now challenged like everyone else during the COVID-19 pandemic. But there are available resources designed especially for farmers from the Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protections, Wisconsin Farm Center. The center provides services such as financial and business consultants, farm succession and ownership transition planning, legal and financial me mediation, and more, including counseling vouchers and all at no charge to the farmer. About 2,000 calls come into the Farm Center each year, according to the DATCP Interim Secretary Randy, Randy Romanski. He said, although each year has its challenges, no one could have predicted the COVID-19 and its effects. But Krista Kanigi, Administrator for the Department's Division of Agriculture Department, said that they are ready to help farmers through this challenge too. Farmers and agribusiness owners can contact the Farm Center by phone at 1-800-942-2474. Sheboygan police are urging the public to mind Wisconsin's safer at home emergency order when using the city's parks. Team sports activities, playground, picnics, shelters, park restrooms, and other areas where maintaining appropriate social distancing is difficult have been closed. And while limiting recreation is encouraged for well-being during the coronavirus crisis, the city of Sheboygan is urging park and trail users to practice social distancing, keep a six-foot distance from the other park users, consider wearing fabric masks, and to not gather in groups. The Kiwanis Park Skate Park and the disc golf course in J.C. Park are open and being monitored by city staff. And if the rules violations are seen, then the city will consider closing these areas. The Volrath Park disc golf course remains closed until further notice. People are advised to check police and city government social media pages for any updates. 
Gas prices in Wisconsin are now some of the lowest in the nation, according to the website on GasBuddy.com. Senior Petroleum Analysis Patrick Dehan says the average prices for a g gallon of gas of unleaded in the Badger State is now $1.42. He says recent events in the global oil market have a lot to do with the dip. There was an OPEC meeting about a month ago to discuss cutting oil production. Instead of an agreement on cutting oil production, Saudi Arabia and Russia both left the meeting saying they're going to increase production instead. Dehan told WXPR Radio in Rhinelander essentially started an oil production war that has led oil prices down to as low as $20 last week. Some industry insiders have also noted that with California and New York under travel restrictions, there are more gasoline supply in the United States as well. Gas prices in the Wausau area are as low as $1.56 per gallon, with some stations selling 15% ethanol for under $1.50. Diesel prices have also dipped to below $2 per gallon. Dehan adds that just like every other public place, you should treat gas pumps like they may have traces of coronavirus on them. Remember to be hygienic when filling up. A lot of germs on gas pumps, and I'd remind people to stay clean and healthy by at least using some hand sanitizers, if not delaying purchases of gasoline if you can. The increased demand and lower prices have not been great for everyone, however. American ethanol giant Poet announced on Tuesday that they have slowed production at many of their facilities and have cut down on the amount of corn they are buying. The decreases has also delayed their plans for a new ethanol plant in Indiana. And finally, one more person between the ages of 20 and 39 in Sheboygan County has tested positive for the COVID-19 virus, raising the total number so far to 33 cases. 19 of those 33 can be attributed to the outbreak at Sunny Ridge, and 12 persons have recovered, and the two deceased were residents at Sunny Ridge, where a contact investigation continues in effort to identify all who have had contact with the known positive cases. Those identified will be asked to quarantine themselves for 14 days from their exposure and will be monitored for fever and respiratory systems, symptoms. Due to the overwhelming demand for testing, a tiered system has been established by the state so that cases can be prioritized. A physician's order is still required in order to be tested for the coronavirus and 434 of those who have been tested so far in Sheboygan County were tested negative. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.